This over here is Lenovo Legion 5i Pro with the 12th gen processor, 12700H and an RTX 3060. Now, if you try to configure this on the website, on Lenovo's website, it actually supports up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. But the thing is, you can easily go on Amazon or any of the shops and get something like this. This is the Kingston Fury Impact and this is a 64 gigabyte kit. I mean, 64 gigabytes of DDR5. Officially, Lenovo doesn't support that but what happens if you just install 64 gigabytes on this laptop what's gonna happen well i'm glad you asked because we're gonna find out looking for a cheap way to license your windows check out who keys through the links in the video description make sure to use the code tn20 to get a 30 percent off paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done this license is for windows 10 but you can upgrade it to windows 11 for free they also offer microsoft office 19 license use the same code tn20 to get a 30 percent off check out whokeys.com in the video description below so then make sure that your laptop is on and i have actually already taken the back cover off which is a little bit of a tricky thing to do if you want to know how to do this check out my video on how to upgrade ram and ssd half of the job is already done over here i'm going to take this ram cover off and as you can see here are the ram sticks by the way if you do want to upgrade any of the ddr5 laptop memory again highly recommend checking out kingston theory impact memory very high quality memory they have up to 64 gigabyte kit 64 32 and 16 gigabytes as well so as you can see here we have the sk hynix ram kits and this is eight gigabytes and this flash is only on one side of the ram stick as you can see nothing on the other side whereas kingston has it on both sides so we're gonna take these green sticks of ram off and let's see what's gonna happen i am not quite sure plug this in this single stick is twice the size as two of these two sticks together. That just shows us. For example, if you are a creator, you want high capacity RAM, then, you know, 64 gigabytes is very, very good to get installed. So second stick in. Okay, I'm gonna put the cover back just in case. And now the moment of truth. Let's see if it's gonna turn on and if we're actually gonna see anything here happen. I'm not gonna put the bottom cover on just in case, but let's see if it's gonna work. Okay, the keyboard lighting came on now. <laughs> it's loading into Windows. It booted in, so I had to like kind of press the button again. It went back off again, turned it on again, and then now it's going onto Windows. Let's have a look. Come on, <laughs> give us 64 gigabytes. Let me just turn this into auto. Okay, we're gonna go to task manager, performance. Yes, come on. 64 gigabytes of RAM installed, look at that. This is on task manager, come on. Let me, let me show you this. See this? 64 gigabytes installed, no problem. So this is basically a little conclusion that if the laptop manufacturers tell you that it only supports up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, then you can actually install up to 64 gigabytes. It's not like hardware limited, uh, as far as I know, at, and at least with this test that we've done over here, it's not hardware limited. So you can actually plug in 64 gigabytes as well, even though they don't support that, which makes me think that what you should do is get the lowest amount of RAM from the manufacturer, especially if it's easily user upgradable like here, because you don't want to pay high RAM prices from the actual you know, factory and then get the kit you want and then absolutely install the highest gigabytes of RAM over there. Look at that! This is probably the first laptop in the world that has 64 gigabytes of DDR5. That's absolutely insane. And if you're wondering if it's gonna work, check out the Kingston Fury Impact RAM in the description below if you want to uh, get this. But I'm super happy, that's absolutely amazing. And with no further ado, uh, I guess uh, we're gonna see you in the next video. Just a cool update for you that you can get 64 gigabytes of DDF5 on your laptop as well if you wanted to. Go check out this unboxing and review of this laptop because probably the best bang for buck performance what you're gonna get from a laptop. Insane, insane performance. Spoiler alert. This laptop is faster in multi-core and single core than 11 900K desktop processor with 360 millimeter AIO cooler. No matter what cooler you're gonna have, 11 900K can pull up to 290 watts or something like that from the socket and 
is still going to be slower than this i7 12700H. Go check this laptop review out. Okay, bye bye.